Good morning, it's Nicola from theliberty.com reporting back on the Couch to 5K. I um, haven't vlogged for a couple of days, um, primarily because we missed one of our running days last week. So the weather was appalling on the day we were supposed to run. And then the next day I was busy with my little, little nephew and um, it was far more appealing hanging out with him than coming to the park. Uh, and by the time I did all of that, I was absolutely shattered. So, um, excuses, 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 but you find me here on Monday morning, ready to go again. So this week, we're gonna have to sort of cram it. So I'm trying to do the last one of last week's, and then the three for this week, so that I'm back on schedule for the following week, which will be week three. Um, I'm really tired, I've had a very late night. It wasn't wise, I don't know. I'll show you my eyes, look at that, terrible. And, um, yeah, the weather's really pants. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of grey. It's meant to be the middle of the summer. It's not inspiring. But I'm here and I'm gonna do it. So I'll catch you, I'll catch you in a minute. All right, see you later, bye. Okay, so done and dusted, just finished. 20 minutes and I have to say, even though it was a bit achy going round, a bit creaky and a little bit breathless, I feel much better now than I did when I started. So hopefully that's built a bit of energy for my day. And now I'm just going to the greengrocers to go and get some avocados to make a lovely smoothie when we get in. Uh, yesterday I watched May I Be Frank and um, An Average Joe on the Raw, which was absolutely fantastic. And um, both very inspiring. I had a really inspiring day on Thursday. I think I told you already. So I'm trying to keep the motivation going, eat well and be healthy. What's May I Be Frank? May I Be Frank is a movie about a guy called Frank Ferrante, Fer Ferrante I think, um, and he's stuck, he's overweight, he's got some, he's overweight and he has some health issues and he happens to go into Cafe Gratitude which is about, um, is a raw vegan cafe serving raw and vegan food and <coughs> he talks to one of the servers there and they end up getting together and putting him on a programme for 42 days totally raw vegan plant-based food and it's about his journey and what he faces as he's going through this and an average joe is about an average guy who takes up um the challenge of a vegan diet a raw vegan diet for 60 days and and what happens to him also is very entertaining and really really good fun so if you could check them out i would check them out they're very inspiring and i think with the running some of the tips that they give along the way might be really useful so i'm going to try and implement them so as soon as i get my avocado and i get home i'll show you what i'm making for my smoothie all right take care see you bye okay so i'm back from my run showered ready to go and need something to eat so i'm going to make the quick smoothie that i was talking to you about when i was in the park um, I have just been out in the garden and I have got some random green leaves that were growing, so a bit of pak choy, I think it was a bit of Chinese um, cabbage leaf, and I think there were some beet leaves, so I've collected those and put them in the blender, and I've also collected some mint, and I'm going to make this kind of like a mojito-esque smoothie, so lemon and mint, those kind of flavours, and I've got some half an avocado, I've peeled and um, taken the flesh from one lemon and I've just taken a couple of figs that my mum gave me from her garden in Spain which is rather nice as the natural sweetener so um, that's what's going in. I'm also going to add some chia seeds and some hemp for our protein section of the smoothie and chia is really really good because also it absorbs about I think it's nine to ten times its amount in water so it's a really good one to keep you hydrated and sustained. So um, given that we've just exerted ourselves, that would be a really, really great thing. So um, these are the things that I'm putting in. So, so we've got my avocado, the, whatchamacallit, fig, Thanks. and the lemon. And then we've got our chia seeds and hemp, which is hemp and the chia. And I'm gonna add those to the smoothie and um, blend for a little bit. So that's our greens. Oh, and a glass of water. Hello? With this glass of water to go in as well. Oops. So I've put in about two tablespoons of hemp and two tablespoons of chia. And 
yeah, a little extra just for good measure. And then I'm going to just whip in these things as well. And we may need to add a bit more water. You could make this with a coconut, if you've got coconut water, you can make it with coconut water or any cool teas like, um, sometimes we use like cow darker tea or anything that you've made. Um, you just use it as your base. You can make a tea elixir from all kinds of lovely herbs and spices and use that as a base, which adds a really nice taste to your smoothie. So but I've just got water for today. So. Okay, so we made the smoothie. I added um, another glass of water because it was a little bit thick. In fact, it was quite like mm, really, really thick. So I've added another glass of water. And of course, over time, the chia is going to swell. So you're going to get more, um, it's going to get thicker as you go along. So, um, I also found that because I only put two very small figs in, it wasn't that sweet. In fact, you barely taste them. And I'm not great with sugar and sugary things, so I just added some xylitol um, as my sweet, sweet element of the smoothie. Um, you could add more figs or a banana, depending what you um, want to have. So um, this is the final smoothie. And as you can see, it's quite, quite thick, and I'm looking forward to eating it or drinking it. So um, I will see you on the next one. Take care, bye.